welcome back. Welcome back to the Anime Alchemist podcast. I'm so sorry I interrupted you. No, it's we okay, were, it's okay. We were right on it's key okay, together, bro. It's okay. <laughs> I'm Let's every... talk about some anime. That was That's a Gary. mess, y'all. Yeah, I'm Gary. <laughs> what this always is our main man. Martin. A.K.A. Captain Dottie. Do you want to redo that? No, I love it. <laughs> so organic. It's us, bro. It's episode 44. Spoiler warning. Oh, yeah. Episode 44. It's going to be fire. Oh, you like that I did that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, um, I know you're going to be happy about this, but I finally finished Ranking of Kings. Finally? Mm-hmm. You, you, you know, you know, Martin, Martin finished it like two, three weeks ago. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. I mean, he, I finished he, it like last finished week. It, I think last like, week. I finished it last week. Like a week-ish or a week and a half after I finished it, yeah. Because like I was about to recommend it to you. You're like, oh, I just started. And like, I'm already a few episodes in. I'm like, oh, thank God. I don't have to try. Because <laughs> like, it was so good. Now It was amazing. Now, I would have been done maybe like two weeks earlier. But I was committed to seeing the dub all the way through. And I will recommend it is not that bad. The dub for Ranking Kings? Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I'm I'm sure because the main character doesn't have an actual talking role. Boom. I respect that a lot. I'm really glad that they decided to keep the original voice. <laughs> and it is the original no reason, voice and like... There's no mm-hmm. reason to change uh, uh, it. Like, he confirmed it for yeah. me. I had him like look into it and then like... I mean, like, I mean, what'd you think about the voice for Kage? For Kage? Mm-hmm. I liked it actually. It wasn't mm-hmm. that bad. Yeah, it kind of fit. I'm still biased because like my first watch through was the entire like was the sub. Exactly. But it didn't sound bad. You know what I mean? Like I, I'm very open to dubs. Usually it has to be so pretty bad for me to be like, yeah, yeah no. You know what I mean? And, like th- this anime was so huge sub that I was like, the dub has to be probably golden. I, yeah. I, I guarantee they put good money into it. And of course, you know, they put the same act, the voice actor who does, uh, you know, Zoro and Piccolo and Vegeta. He played. um yeah. Uh, um, what's his name? And Chris the, Sabin, the prince, right? No, 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 no. The three out of the three uh, brothers. brothers uh, the one that trained Boji. Dida? Dida. No, no, no. No, Dida's Dida. His, no, 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 no. That is the little brother. Um, the. Uh, uh, ooh, I oh, it up right no, now because I, I always forget. Desha. No, that's the. That's the. That's the. Uh, the one oh, Despa. 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 It's Despa. Yes, it yeah, Despa. it is Despa. Yeah, no, when he told me that it was Christopher Sabat, like the guy who plays Piccolo, Vegeta, all that, he told me that he voiced him, I'm like, what? Like, I couldn't picture that in yeah, my mind. I was like, that that's, right that's a weird, like, casting choice, right? Yeah. But then I went into it, and uh, I listened to a little bit of it, and I was like, oh, he actually doesn't do that bad of a job. Like, clearly you can tell it's, it's him. You have your yeah. moments. You have your he moments where the you're the most like... recognizable, like, dub voice ever, probably. But no, he he did it in a way where like it kind of fit his character. I was like, okay, I kind I kind of fucks with it, you know. Like, he played a little bit more of like that feminine-ish side, but like not super brawny. You know what I mean? It's hard to describe, but he he did a good job. I, you could tell this man. You could tell Gary that he had the greatest performance ever. Gary's still gonna go like it. Yeah. Yeah, probably not. No, I know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Piece but. of shit. But if you get past that and like all the other stuff, dub is good. I I, I just I just want to talk about the series. The series. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay yeah, let's actually talk about it. <laughs> For real. Well, let's give a review. How, how do you how how do you feel after having seen like Kage swindles him? Mm-hmm. They get together, they go out, start doing their thing, and the only person who supports him is Kage. But the worst part is he is an outcast from society too. Mm. To the point where like people are trying to kill him to keep him away from Boji. I like that they did that. Like, yeah, he it, like it was it was so like such a dynamic situation between them. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And and when when Queen um healing mm-hmm. finds out like this is this is your friend. Like this is the guy who's been helping you this whole time. Damn, we misjudged you. Like all of them did, and uh, I loved it when uh, God from the big the big four, um, the snake charmer guy. Oh, he was so cool. He was badass. I loved uh, I loved Starts him because he was really like subverted my expectations. Like 
you really think he's going to be that typical like sketchy sketchy guy who is part of like the royal like you know guard or whatever but like has his own ulterior motives right just the way he was introduced mm -hmm. but it ended up being like the exact opposite like he was actually like cool and the snakes were helpful the snakes were allies you know what i mean like, yeah it's always an indicator of a bad guy so i like that they were like nah like we like snakes here and but like, yeah like, that was scary too i saw all of them and it, like immediately i was like yeah they, they were popping up mm -hmm. everywhere i was like oh god kage and then there was a giant two-headed used to be three-headed one and i was like mm -mm. No, yeah all i was thinking is like damn this guy's op mm. well, i saw he had let, like all that command snakes and stuff like, yeah, yeah this guy's no op joke. but then you get the actual fight scene with the the spear guy right the guy with the like the pole staff mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and he gets fucked up yeah like he gets stabbed like, through like ran through with the blade and you're like what bro i was also so shocked when um boji's like teacher pushed him into that uh the volcano mm -hmm. thing that or whatever I felt betrayed. I was like, you piece of shit. It was an absolute betrayal. It was absolute, absolute betrayal. betrayal. Oh, spoiler. I don't know if we said it, but yeah, I did. Like, I got it in there. Don't worry. Yeah, literally. Oh my God, man. I was, I didn't see that coming. Like, that's what I really liked about it. Every mm -hmm. character in this show, like you think they're going to do something, but they really just don't. They like it, the decisions they make just kind of feel natural once you finish the show. Right? Like it doesn't feel right at the beginning when he like betrays boji and pushes him you're like what like you really seem like a good guy and like then you just assume he's evil but like he's not evil he just had things he had responsibilities or he had like, issues he had issues honestly you know <laughs> what i mean and he didn't know who to follow like he, he was just doing what he could right and you could tell like once you see boji again like he he could not like help but just pro profusely apologize he's like i know like you should never forgive me blah 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 whatever because like what he did was so scummy and you can tell it hurt boji too just even looking at him you know what i mean yeah was it him who tried that to poison such... him yeah that was that was he kept trying to kill him yeah he kept, Kage kept, kept him. saving him that's right yeah, yeah 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 but uh that arc like that character arc for him mm -hmm. that shit was so good bro Oh yeah, absolutely. Like, like he he turns around and he's like repenting, right? And he's doing everything he can to make up for it. That that was great. Like the characters in this show are so good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're really well written. It's 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 not like it's not the scenes, it's not the moments that happen, like the big epic fights and stuff. It's like. What what makes this show different and like special is like these characters are so dynamic and they all work off of each other mm -hmm. in, in a very natural way. And they yeah. all have motivations that like tie to their backstories and like yeah, yeah. they take the time to explore those things. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Nothing you know, ever it wasn't... felt forced, right? Like it just felt like natural progressions of their story of each individual character. Yeah, and it it was never worried about like, oh, we got to try to get this fight scene in here. It was just, like there was some episodes where like just some stuff happens, and, like mm -hmm. they don't even really they, there's no real fighting. Yeah, you know, there's it's just like things are happening and people are talking, and like you get to see these interesting character dynamics. Mm -hmm. Or in uh, interactions, right? Mm -hmm. It wasn't all centered around like fighting, fighting and right? There was a, like there was so many just amazing moments where I was sitting there tearing up. Like I'm so happy right now. Dude, mm, same. same. So many moments I was like, dude, I'm so proud. I'm so proud mm -hmm. of Boji because like he has like he really got the shortest end of the stick in this entire show until like the end and you realize why he wasn't strong and like the potential he had right just because of like his father's uh his greed, greed. like his his greed and wanting to be powerful you mm -hmm. know and just have that power and it's so sad too because you can tell he regrets it oh yeah he truly, truly regrets yeah. what he did and that's why like he wanted to protect boji even at the end I, I i really really like just every character interaction every motivation Ranjo, that they had. healing mm -hmm. dida 
I even yeah. loved Dida. I hated I him in the hate first him in the beginning. Episodes. Yeah, and by the end, I'm just like, oh, he's so cool. Him. Like he, oh, he's good. Like that's a good big brother. Yeah. I yeah, know yeah, he's, he's a little he's brother. A little brother. But. He is. Yeah, he's a little brother. But like, it's I, I don't know. And you make a really good point that like the show isn't focused on the fights. It's not focused on big, you know, like clashes or anything like that. But whenever you do get some, you know, granted, for real, really good get, fights. When you get the big fucking fights, though, they're, they're fucking they hit. sick. They're so it hits. damn good. Because you don't expect it from this show. This show, you should go into like expecting a good fucking story. And like one of the most solid cast of characters like i've seen you know what one of my one of my favorite memes is what you know the shit's getting crazy when the animation turns into blocks <laughs> yeah 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 i was horror proved to that oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah oh yeah yeah no i loved it i'm really glad i gave it a chance because i waited a while and that's one of the ones that like i saw it and it wasn't even like the art style that like threw me off it's just like I don't know. Something was just holding me back from like really checking it out. But then I was like, now, nah, like, let me actually give it a shot. I have not heard one negative thing about this show. And that's always a good indicator of like, check it out. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Give it a shot. Even if you don't like it at the end, give it a chance. You never know. You might actually find something really, really good that you, you know, that you cling on to. And that's what, you know, exposes you to different stories or different type of anime or shows or whatever. Right. Yeah. And, and, and like for people who are worried about like, oh, well, it takes too long to get to the fight. No, it's not just like small fights. Like when it when it leads up to 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 a fight, it leads up to a full scale battle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it they don't cut away from it. Mm -mm. They, they they really don't, except to like maybe update where a character is coming in on that battle, right? But you get the full the full scene of what's going on and they keep that fight going mm -hmm. you we got like four or five episodes of straight straight fights remember with healing and yeah it and was the, just all and, and all the the four. Oh, oh god yes i loved that that was really really good and it was it was like five episodes just back to back to back action fighting and then like it cooled down and we had some time and like oh okay boji's here like everybody's okay boom and shit Back pops off fucking, again yeah mm. oh my god that last fight when boji finally like fights um uh like his basically his dad like, oh yeah yeah yeah, in, yeah in his brother's body right mm -hmm. yeah. he has like that strength behind him and he can't touch him he Love cannot it. touch boji and i was so fucking proud yeah it was so good so good they played his strengths perfectly because mm -hmm. like he, like that's what the show focuses on too like boji does not have the strength that everyone else does so then it makes you wonder how is it even possible for this child to contend with these monsters of like characters that there are you know like his father is a literal giant mm -hmm. with that tremendous giant strength you know what i mean and he is the exact opposite of that right so for him to have the ac accomplishments that he has by the end of that season it just makes you all the more proud. Like that's that's yeah. it's, it's a sense of like, you know, pride in someone else. I can't wait. Yeah. To see. Oh, it's crazy. He was born. He's born of two giants. Yeah. Yeah. Like he is a giant, but he had his power stolen. Mm -hmm. I was so shocked when I when we learned that. Mm -hmm. And it makes sense though. Oh yeah. Ah. <sighs> so sad. I also really like, I, I will always remember <clears throat> whenever you, in one of our previous episodes, you recommended Ranking of Kings before we had seen it. And I will always remember how you described it. You're like the first episode, like, you know, sets the scene, sets the tone for everything. You get introduced to like some of the main characters. The second episode pulls at your heartstring a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. and I did not get that until you see that second episode and you get Kage's backstory. backstory. And I was like, I am two episodes into this show and I already kind of want to cry. Yep. Yeah. Wow. And yeah. the third episode, you're sold by oh, them. Absolutely. Yeah. So good. Such bro. a good way to start a show. I, I, I can't wait till they make more. Because this whole evil god and like being able to like get wishes granted and there's demons. Like this world's so interesting. Mm -hmm. I want to know. I want to know more. Can Boji get his power back? Imagine... What's oh possible? God. I mean, Maranjo's soul, her entire person, was literally stored inside of a mirror. Yeah. And, and she was supposed to go with her. 
or with them, with the demon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But they stopped that. And because they chopped off his head and like forced him, forced his hand, like he was forced to grant a wish. Mm -hmm. And oh shit! I like the redemption that they gave Miranjo too, because she Mm -hmm. was like the big bad for the entire show. Yeah, she was. Like, I don't feel you really feel bad for her. Well, I did at least. I did. Yeah. Oh yeah. When you get like her full backstory, like with um, God, with Bose. Bose. Yeah. Um, like. Poor child, bro. Like, she used to she used to be a happy, smiling kid. I get that, and then to, just to be like traumatized and like completely disfigured, disfigured. Yeah, just because like your mom's different and you're different, and like you, ad- your people have advanced. Like, like just because people are just scummy. Yeah, and then. Thank God he came in and it just shows literally... the ugly side of like okay, societies okay. and people and stuff. Playing on what you just said, he then slaughtered that village, took her, took all their bodies, and was just like, fix her, mm-hmm. use that and fix her. She looked fine afterwards. So like, what the fuck did he do? Yeah, like what's possible? I can't wait to see so much shit. I can't wait to see more. I want to see Boji uh, pull it, uh, climb the ranks. You know what? This this among I'm I'm gonna I'm start buying. I'm gonna start getting yeah. this one. Out. Yeah, that'd be considerate, honestly. Yeah, I if like I, it a lot. If I see it, I'm gonna get it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. These shows lately have honestly been really hitting. Mm-hmm. Facts. Y'all want to talk about Spy Family? You know I want to talk about I do, Spy bro. Family, man. Ah. Mm. Uh, Mommy. Where do we start? Where mommy. Do we start? Mommy. Well, let's mommy drunk, is a lightweight. You're, bro. Oof. Yeah, Mommy is a lightweight, honestly. This most recent episode, right? Episode four, I think it was. Just is now? she? Or five. Or was five? she drinking a lot? She was drinking she was a drinking lot. lot. She did not let go of that bottle that entire mm-hmm. episode. I loved it. <sighs> I get. Okay, well, first, like, Anya got accepted into the school, which we figured was going to happen. Ta-da! Well, 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 hold on, hold on. We got to give credit to that old man. True, yeah. Oh, no, yeah. He really helped them get helped in. Him out. Yeah. Yeah. I, I like him. Yor was Love thinking it. about killing somebody just so their kids couldn't get into the school. So funny. And Anya was just like, oh my God. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> just there like, listening. Like, you, you, you would kill somebody just for me to get into this school? My mom's so cool. <laughs> I love it. And uh, then she gets accepted and they bro, dude, bro, he he was awesome. waiting. That that was something that I noticed. He like had the the little celebratory thing, yeah, like, thing in his pocket. He yeah. had it ready so that like you know, this man's always planning. That's true. Right? He's he, a spy. He's always like making contingency plans and like him having that for her to be yeah. like congrats is That's part of his plan like, that was nice you can see small little moments of him like actually acting like a dad mm. when he doesn't need to right like he has a mission he can do this, the bare minimum if he wanted to but he goes entire, out of his way to do that to be a good dad hey man who is that by the way huh who is that by the way oh really good yeah yeah have you tried not that one? better than this one no i've not tried that yet. this one this one's the best really yeah oh, That's oh my favorite. i mean well, i mean you tried it you haven't tried that one no no yeah i'll okay, try it you're gonna have to try that later yeah. okay my bad my bad, my bad. for those people who are wondering what the fuck we're talking about <laughs> um go stand and drink baby yeah, they came out you guys have got to try this they have a strawberry bubble delicious it's delicious yeah not sponsored it's but we're not sponsored doesn't but matter saying this delicious. shit is delicious seriously <laughs> um but okay say what you're going like this whole episode was like really just tributing like the lengths he'll go to be a good dad exactly yeah he pulled in all the strings just to give her like the greatest like damsel in an distress, distress yeah. experience saved by a spy saved by her like idol spy mm-hmm. he took her to a specific castle yeah yep. like a, a, like it's an amusement park place i just can't get over the fact that like the entire like all of his other spy you know colleagues and stuff mm-hmm. the entire like corp- not corporation but like you know unit organization organization there we go pulled up right and did all of this no questions asked right because of how much respect they have for him mm-hmm. as twilight as like one of their best spies and they did all of this to celebrate you know a, a little girl getting into school and, and like they were cool with it well and well they were cool with it well that's the thing he's like this is this is uh like 
this is necessary for Operation Strix. Mm -hmm. No other questions need to be asked. Yeah. Oh right. yeah. Oh yeah. Because he did it in a Morse like code. The, with the Morse right. code, yeah, and they're like, "Oh, no. this is Twilight." Okay. And then, and then they get the instructions to be able to fight him, and all of them are like, "Fucking bet, I get yeah. to we get my fight medal against him." him. Mm -hmm. We get to it. see like what he's capable of and everything. We get to see his acting skill. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, even that, like <laughs> he's like burning red and everything. Oh, that yeah. was great. Was so good, dude. And I really liked it because it was. Honestly, like a, a high octane, like spy mission. Honestly, it was, yeah. But just like dropped to like a G rating with like the balloons and like the bouncy balls instead of like, the bullets and stuff. <laughs> you know, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's like kid friendly, but like at the same time, it's so badass because he's going all out as the spy he is. You yeah, know what I mean, against Working his way, other up. spies, <laughs> against like... other spies, like they are professionals, right? But just you know, given like a. A fake gun with bouncy balls and stuff like that you know i think that's so cool that they can make it that cool and epic you know with not real stuff you know what i mean yeah. are we not gonna talk about that that yeah, zip line oh, scene oh, oh, my zip line oh my god oh my god the zip line scene he was... pulled his belt off in like a second i didn't even notice he had it off until he was going down i was like oh that was his belt <laughs> and before he and before he lands like... he puts it on I can't even put my belt on that fast. All bro. those explosions. Like that was so unnecessarily badass. He lands and it's like boom. It really was. Whoa. No, it was so Love cool. Boom, boom. <laughs> I was just captivated that entire episode. Same. Yeah. And then once he finally gets to that like the last area where Anya's at and he has to fight your <laughs> The witch and she just oh drunk. And bro, drunk. she was she boxing him. Gah, 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 gah. She like, was I was used to seeing her throw kicks, bro, but she she was throwing those hooks hard as hell. Hell yeah, like oh yeah, like if he hadn't wondered what she's up to or like you know had some questions or suspicions about her before, I'm sure he's thinking about yeah, it now. She now, destroyed like, his gloves. Yeah, like and this, she just passes like, out. Moogie, why that? Like this is a man who literally all these other spies revere. And he's getting his ass handed by it to him by his wife. Uh, drunk wife. His drunk wife. Nobody's going to question that. Nobody. She slipped on her heel. It broke and she fell. That she was so great. And she just knocked her straight, to sleep. straight to sleep. Yeah. That was so funny. It was really, really. He good. would have died. Yeah. I, he he even said like she could, she's going to kill me. Gonna, yeah. I gotta love this episode. So good. It's like every episode is just better than the last, honestly, in my opinion. I look forward to this every week. Mm -hmm. I've been enjoying the absolute hell out of it. And I think this is such a good anime because me and uh, Pablo were talking about it, I think this morning or last night or whatever after the episode. But um, it's like, it feels like that type of anime that you could probably introduce to literally anyone and they would still probably like it. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's oh, yeah. such a simple, like, story, but it's so fun. It's funny mm -hmm. it has action and it yes. has great characters that you immediately love from like their first introduction oh yeah it's that, well yeah. written characters that act well with each other it's it was such an anime thing to like mm -hmm. an operation i've got to get this little girl into this school mm -hmm. and this will help save the world like this yeah. will help stop a war yeah hmm it's all about him having to deal with a little girl. Bro, I love the fact that, like, like let's be real. Uh, 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 like, let's be real. It is a it is a gag. Like. Excuse me. It's not shonen. No. It's, no, it's, no, no, it's, no, no, it's, no, not at it's, all. It's like gag manga. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Absolutely. It's, it's, it's like slice of life with some action, but, like, it's, it's mostly the humor. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think that's why like so many people are are liking it because it's it doesn't take itself too seriously either. You know what I mean? Or at least not yet. I know it just started. It might get maybe more serious, but right now I'm enjoying it. I enjoy everything that I've seen because it's just it's it is what it is, honestly. I love it. Yeah, I can't describe it any better. I want to see all the them, characters. I want to see them introduce somebody else that's like Anya. Someone Even else that's like oh, like that has her mind reading abilities or a little girl. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Like she gets into the school and like, what if there's another care, like another person there that like, from the experiment? Maybe. 
I mean, she was part of an experiment. I'm pretty sure they said there was a certain number of kids, right? Maybe. There could be another one. No. Yeah. Well, I'm interested to see how she acts like when she'll be in the school because she's going to be a telepath in a school, like a very prestigious school. You oh, know what I mean? Fuck, that's right. We'll be able to hear what the kids are thinking and the professors too. And those professors are quite the characters as well too. Pretentious so. fucking Pretentious assholes. Fun. Hey, at least they're aware about mosquito problems, okay? True. Very true. Mosquito yeah. problems. So, <laughs> go ahead. Make his day. Yay. Okay. Are you excited? Me? No. Well, yeah. No, you're Oh, excited. I was like. Well, for, first, let me start by this. I have to formally apologize to you and to every Full Metal Alchemist fan out in the world. Because Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is so damn good. It is. I just finished it last night. God damn! I, I, I I'm so happy you did, bro. I binged that show like no other. We I, we were almost late to Doctor Strange yesterday because I couldn't stop watching. <laughs> I was at the end. I was literally watching Edward fight a uh, father, right? In his like young form and everything mm -hmm. and everyone kind of going in and working together, right? To like defeat him. And I was sitting like this, like hunched over, right? Eyes glued to the TV and then checking the time. And I'm like, fuck, we really should go. The movie's going to start <laughs> in like 15 minutes. <laughs> oh, I couldn't fuck. stop. It was so good. It's when you make Pableo drive and you just watch it on your phone. I know, but I couldn't just I couldn't even stop watching to do that to switch to my phone, man. As soon as like the, the first second of like the outro started playing, I was like, next, next, like that, just nonstop. I watched, bro. I left off and I was keeping him up today, but I wanted to surprise you because the last time we had talked about this was I think last episode or something, or maybe the one before that. And I was left off around episode twenty five, maybe twenty four, twenty five. I watched 40 episodes of that show in roughly a week. My man. So did you start over? No. Because I once I like found where I was, I remembered like pretty much everything else. And they do they don't do recaps, but they kind of are good about like referencing stuff that's happened before to give you that context as you go on. And dude, and you're not gonna believe where I had stopped too. I stopped literally the episode before Ling got uh Turn into a hum homunculus. Yeah, I know. I was trying to tell you that. And you're like, you're like, I, I, I was on this Sorry. episode. I was like, literally, watch, watch one more, and episode. you will, you will be like, what is going on? I'm so sorry, Gary. <laughs> I stopped watching this show maybe like six months ago now, and I, I can't believe I did that to myself. And I always do this with so many shows, and I can't huh. seem to learn my lesson. You are just like your brother. You're gonna have yeah. to watch it all the way through. I kind of want to rewatch it now because it was just so good, and. Honestly, it might just be me coming off the high of watching this show, but I still feel pretty confident in me putting it in my top five and kicking Naruto out of my top five. Damn. <laughs> because A, like, I know Naruto is iconic. I, I know what it is, and it is phenomenal. Like, everyone loves Naruto, but it has a lot of problems. It has a lot of problems, in my opinion, right? And when I compare the two, I think Full Metal Alchemist has less problems than Naruto overall. I think it's just a, a better written story now, especially because like having seen the ending, like it's the ending, the ending was so satisfying to me. And I was like, yeah, I, I like it. And I like it enough to where when I'm comparing it to another shonen, for example, like it doesn't feel like it was just a like very, it doesn't feel contrived because Naruto for me always felt like by the end of it they were playing the whole underdog thing until you realize that like oh no he was the chosen one from birth you know he had well, 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 it was, that was more about like naruto being who he was like they played at the underdog and then it swapped all of a sudden and it's like oh actually he was this chosen one mm -hmm. right yeah but like it was it was more about like who naruto was and like him having that power yeah. and being who he is and that doing fucked up shit with it yeah no exactly and like i understand it and i think maybe this is also why like a lot of people maybe prefer the original like you know the part one of naruto to shippuden because shippuden just kind of blew everything like up in scale you know and just kind of got a little 
in my opinion, excessive. Um, got like they bring in deities and shit like that, you know, when it didn't feel natural to the story. Versus in Full Metal, when they start bringing in like the deity and everything, it makes sense because of the world that they've built. You know what I mean? Like alchemy and stuff like that, messing with the creation of stuff. It makes sense, right, to bring in that kind of concept. And, you know, giving the antagonist like godly powers like that, the way he had gone about it makes sense and never felt like an ass pull to me yep and one of the biggest things that i really really enjoyed about it was the fact that like edward obviously edward and alphonse are the main characters of this show mm -hmm. but it never felt like they were just charging through and kind of like you know one of you wanting everyone and just kind of like carrying the show on their back right it, it was a team effort and like every character introduced in the show to me was super important i love that like at the end it was a group effort and if it wasn't for everyone else and all the friendships and relationships that they had created throughout the course of the show, they would have never won. They would have been defeated. And it just felt really, really satisfying knowing that like other characters matter, you know, and it's not just the typical shonen protagonist that wins and saves the day by some ass like ass pole power up type thing. Yeah, you know what I no, mean? no, no. That is one of the best parts about it when it comes to like the power scaling mm -hmm. isn't it crazy that consistently throughout there's no random power buff that it is mm -hmm. the same abilities yeah through and through it's not like oh i i use this but it's more powerful or it's bigger now no it's no. just their creativity and how well they they are in hand-to-hand -hand yeah, combat absolutely like i love that because the only the closest thing we got to a power-up which wasn't really a power-up was when he got his lighter weight uh arm you yeah know? Mm -hmm. the carbon fiber arm which literally just let him move a little bit faster and that's it and it honestly like was a debuff too because he couldn't punch as hard as he used to so he had to be creative about like the way he fought people yeah love it i absolutely loved it and i'm so sad that i waited so long to watch it it's so good mm -hmm. it, it, like that's that's an anime that's like in my anime hall of fame bro yeah mm -hmm. it just it resonated with me so much like it, it really took like for me to get to that point i was like man like i missed out and i just could not keep watching i could not stop watching and i also love greed too <laughs> i like what they did with greed a lot i like yeah. that they didn't keep him as like a bad guy or something you know what? he played a very integral part in the story what about what about how creepy pride was right pride was so fucking creepy <laughs> it was a fucking child it. but i loved it it was so good and it was i did not see that coming bro when right? he revealed that he, like he was uh salim and everything i was like oh my god dude, i can't trust anyone no, <laughs> i literally no. cannot trust anything this show tells me what about what about when uh mustang lost his sight oh man that's another thing i didn't see coming like i'm really glad that i didn't know a lot about this show the only thing i knew was like that alphonse gets his body back by the end of the show which makes sense and the way that he gets it back made so much perfect. sense like, like oh i'll just give up my ability to do alchemy mm -hmm. yeah i'll close my gate yeah and like the fact that the that um, makes sense like truth i guess like the deity or whatever mm -hmm. was like that's the correct answer like it, it, it's so oh i could talk about this forever honestly and i want to go and watch different like people kind of dissect the show because i just i'm a fan of that i like when people go really in depth and talk about like the story motivations metaphors shit like mm -hmm. that right but i really like it because it's like essentially them telling uh him telling edward like hey the power of creation is kind of something that like should really only be something that god does i guess right so you giving that up to save your brother like that is really the the correct answer you know what i mean mm -hmm. and that's why human transmutation is not you know viable is not viable because you are not a god you can't just create people you know what i mean like you have to kind of know your place right and you have to sacrifice stuff and if you're you know gonna sacrifice if you want something that badly you're gonna have to sacrifice a lot it's a you know equivalent exchange thing right yeah the fact that that's through and through across the entire series yeah, it, hold, fucking... it sticks to that rule except for the one bypass which is the philosopher the philosopher stone yeah. and that's not even really a bypass that's just them accumulating millions and millions of lives yeah and like at the same time too it, it's exactly what you said you know it's not like a cheap bypass where you're like oh i have this stone i can do whatever i want like no you're using that stone knowing that that stone has the lives of thousands of people 
so you're essentially using you know all these people for your own benefit like there's a morality you know that comes with that right and that's why they were so against using it or at least edward and alphonse were you know yeah like they could they could have but they did it yeah hey, i don't see a problem with it though of course you don't <laughs> <laughs> i saw that look on your face and i was like this motherfucker <laughs> all right no yeah, you know we're gonna we're gonna need a moment we're gonna have okay. to talk to him <laughs> yeah G give us a second yeah yeah if you haven't heard of anchor go download it this is the best place for you to get started if you want to start a podcast if you're interested in podcasting or if you want to listen to podcasts and discover more anchor the is best definitely place to, to start mm -hmm. absolutely it helped us start from when we were just two mics and a little audio mixer to this full-blown beautiful set now and like we've used anchor their whole journey yeah i mean being able to post just in one place on anchor and they will put us on google podcast everything apple podcast spotify when when i found out we were on apple podcast i was shocked because like i wasn't expecting them to get us on it like mm. that so quick and easy like i thought that was going to be something we'd have to reach out or do something different and it's also crazy on there because you know that we've actually been making money off this podcast since the second episode so, really yeah man you can actually uh get sponsorships super simple with and you don't need any minimum like you know you need minimum listenership yeah i, I yeah that's the best part like mm -hmm. not a lot of people have to listen and you can build it up yeah you know i i, I knew we were earning something but i didn't know it's like since the second episode yes, that's sir. crazy and uh it's super easy to get started all you need to do is download the anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started yeah thank you go, anchor go download it thank you All right, we gonna talk about Chills Hero now? Yeah, man, that shit was <clears throat> that felt like a long episode. Just a lot happened. Mm -hmm. A lot happened. Like it was really fast paced. Mm -hmm. Like we were we were inside, then we were in the stomach, then we were by its heart, heart but not yeah. really, and near the head hole. <laughs> I like that. <sighs> by its heart, but like not really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we met up with the other heroes too from the other world. Why yeah. was Glass dressed like that? <laughs> Glass was there. I like the Ark was there. Like it was, a, it was kind of a intense episode for me. A little bit. I feel like it's really trying to set up like something big, big, yeah. something really big and ominous. Feels like mm -hmm. it's right around the corner. Honestly. Well, I mean, we just met this new guy, the book. The book, the hero. book, vassal hero. Yeah, I fucking hate that. That seems like something you would do because it seems like very like magic more. based. Yeah, yeah. More when I when I saw it, I was like, Bitch. yeah, I was like, how oh, come I didn't think of? That. Yeah, honestly. So oh. hey, it's only a matter of time before they introduce the gun. Uh, I really hope they don't. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope they do. How mad would you be if they introduced a a, a gun hero before <laughs> a boomerang hero? <laughs> the look on his face. Forget I asked him. <laughs> <laughs> At least be open to the boomerang before the gun. I mean, damn. <laughs> what, what? Meteor shot. Uh, uh, bazooka. What? So, what? Then, like, your weak meteor shot is from a pistol? So, wait. Okay, then tell me this. What would you want to see first? A wand hero or a gun hero? Damn, he doesn't like either of them. <sighs> I don't know how you're going to have different wands. That's why I think the book makes more sense if you're leaning towards the magic. Magic? Stuff. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm, maybe, like, the wand would change into different, like, shapes just to, like, do specific spells, maybe. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. That's on you. That was Give me some time. I'll think of some shit. That's fair. I'll be waiting. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna make out like a full blown like, uh, like skill tree. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, do that. Um. Yeah. No, this episode was interesting. It, it, it did feel like they tried to put like a lot into it real quick. Mm -hmm. But like, how many episodes are we into now in season two? Four. Four. Pretty sure. Right? No, that was five. Oh, that was five. five. Huh. Pretty sure. Let me double check. Yeah. 
Oh, I wonder uh, how many episodes of season one again? Do you remember? Was it was it twelve or twenty four? Twenty four. Dang. And all of this has already happened in the first five episodes. Mm -hmm. I wonder how they're going to end off this season. I thought there was more than 24, to be honest. Are you sure? First season, I thought it was huge, man. I kind of miss seeing the other heroes. I kind of want to see the other ones just Eh. to see what they're up to. Like, I like Now For Me and everything, but I'm not going to lie. I kind of preferred, like, the underdog story that was going on in season one, personally speaking. It seems like right now he's kind of at the point where he, like... Now you've got to be a hero, bro. Yeah, no, I, I get it. But, like, I like that he was trying to be a hero while being the underdog. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. They got a whole new design for it now, yeah. Okay, first season was 25 episodes. My bad. Gotcha. Half by one. Oh, you know they changed the English voice actor? Mm-hmm. For enough of me. The uh, sub? For, the dub. For dub. What? I liked him. He, he, oh, he got, you don't know about this? He got you got lung cancer, bro. <gasps> no, yeah, he, he really? like moved back home, retiring, and like I literally just posted a TikTok about it, bro. Oh, I had no idea. Oh, that's so sad. Mm-hmm. I hope he gets better. Yeah, and they just yeah. started releasing the dub, so he did really good, honestly. And I, I liked the the, uh, the dub a lot in the first season. Mm-hmm. Well, we're only five episodes into this season, so mm-hmm. mm. this. It's interesting to see what they're going to do in the next few episodes then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, this is going to be a wild ride. Mm-hmm. No. It's the... still not dead, is it? No. Yeah, they cut its heart. Oh. So they have to kill off the, the familiar. They have to kill right? her. I, I don't remember her name. She's a spirit tortoise itself. Yeah. I um, I had talked to Mr. Editor's son, and we... Uh... <clears throat> we found a time to uh, bring back an old classic. Anime Leader of the Week. Oh, what? Yeah. Throwback. And this. <laughs> and bro, just... Uh, <laughs> just you wait to see what we got for you. From Attack on Titan. Flock. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> What? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, bro. All right. Think about it, dude. <clears throat> he found a cause that he believed in. And he knew or he did what was necessary to take Aaron's vision and get that shit done. Well, well, Aaron may have had the master plan, bro. Like it, it really couldn't have been as well executed without Flock and him being able to like command the masses. Yeah, honestly, he was like his right hand man at that mm-hmm. point. Like he he was the low key right hand man the entire time. This doesn't exclude him. Like I still think he's a piece of shit. Oh yeah, he's a piece of shit. No, but we all like, can all agree. We can all agree. Piece of shit. Leaders can be pieces of shit sometimes, man. Like he did his job and he has been performing. I mean, what do you think really changed Flock? Um, um, seeing fucking Zeke slaughter, Zeke slaughter all of those people, and seeing Erwin die, mm-hmm. essentially. Yeah, he was and, the only one who survived. Mm-hmm. Like that's got to change your worldview somewhat. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And hey, if Aaron is leading the charge in that sense, and you know is honestly actually giving ideas on like, hey, like we need to end this. Like, and I know it's drastic, but this is the way that like. And you went through that. It's like, yeah, fuck that. You know what? Hey, I, I want this to be over. And as dark and as drastic as it is, it sounds like it'll work. Mm-hmm. It is and what it is. you and know what? I'm sure we can get. It, I, and he can, and he don't he like he got people behind him to like support oh, yeah. Aaron. Like, oh yeah, like that. That's the big part too. Is that he got other people to follow suit. That's hard to convince, bro. How do you convince when, so many people to follow someone who just their ultimate plan is genocide? genocide? You know what I mean? Wow. I just keep thinking of of everybody just burning to Chris. Like, oh, dude, <laughs> it's so great. It's <laughs> so great, dude. Like, that's that, dude. I did not expect that steam Me either to be that intense. Mm-hmm. The moment it got to them, like they were they were Chris. They were yeah. Yeah, yeah, right on the spot. It was fucking nuts. Dead on. There sight. was nothing left. Mm-mm. Damn, bro. Could you imagine how hot that water was then? 
That's a good that, that, The temperature of that sea would have to have been like damn near bucking boiling. Those poor fish. How right, do you yeah. fight that? <laughs> I don't know. Can you fight that? I don't know anymore. I don't even know what to expect from this show. Like, I'm all out of just ideas or theories. Like, I am fresh out. At this point, I'm just like, just give me whatever because I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Happen. You tell me, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, like, every time I try to guess something, oh. it's just like, nah, you're completely off. Like, I don't think I've gotten a single fucking theory right about this show, like, once. Once. <laughs> so, at this point, look, it's part three of the final season. Do what you want. I'll, I'll, I'll be happy with it, I guess. But do you not agree that Flock is... Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I can agree. I mean, he kind of started that whole Eucharist movement. Yeah. So. yeah. Mm -hmm. On a technicality, he, he is a good leader. <laughs> Piece of shit, though. No, no, no. Good leader, wrong cause. Fair. Good leader, wrong cause. I don't necessarily agree with, like, huh? the mass genocide, but I'm the only reason I'm, like, following... It's just because it's like, it's the protagonist and I'm just like, eh, I've already followed him this far. There's just no point in turning back now. <laughs> While we're on this fucking Attack on Titan topic, Gary, you wanted to bring something up that uh, still has not been answered, right? What is this whole Aaron Historia business? Are they fucking? Are they fucking? <laughs> okay, okay. Look, bro. Look. I don't know. Okay. But the thing is, the thing is. Wouldn't it make sense? I mean, like, you look back at their characters, right? Like, he meets her, and she's, like, this cutesy girl, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're driven into a corner, and she's like, fuck you, I'll abandon everybody. Like, my life comes first. I'm, I'm the worst girl in the world. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I only care about myself. I'm selfish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? And he's like... I fucks with that. I, I like that about you. Like that's hot. <laughs> I like that. Like I, I like I like that you ain't gonna be fake, mm -hmm. right? And then later on, whenever he's like acting like humanity soldier, she the one. She's the one to bring him back. Yeah. And she she basically repeats to him the same shit. Like, bruh. Hmm. No, that's a good point. Like. And then it wraps back around whenever she's like going to be going to be as he as he views it human cattle, mm -hmm. think forced to have a child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's just like at this point they both kind of have like an objective, <clears throat> and like them, they both just want to be free. They both just want to be free, and you know. If it comes down to it, like, hey, it's, it's honestly the best course of action that they can come up with. They've okay, been oh. behind those walls for fucking years, like. Well, also think, like, say Historia has a child, mm -hmm. right? But she doesn't want to have a child, mm -hmm. right? It, it's like she's being forced to. Mm-hmm. So you as a child are being born and like that alone, you're not wanted. How How is that like anywhere close to freedom? There's some tough questions you're asking. No, no, no. I'm yeah. saying, I'm saying, I'm saying like that does not like adopt his ideal, you know, his ideal of freedom. I mean, yeah, but like does... The child probably won't know it. I don't think that they would go on and like tell them this. No, story. but I mean for Historia. Okay, well you say that she'd be forced to have a child. Who is forcing her to have the child? Aaron? Or the collective of like the Eldians? Like who who is the force? No, I'm pretty sure it's like she's having a child to continue the royal bloodline. Yeah, no, and that's like why she's probably having the child. But like you're saying, like who? It's noble responsibility. So yeah, no, I'm pretty like sure the, it's like the people, the people, like the government, like the people, the higher ups are like, well, you're kind you of have to finish to. the, like continue the royal bloodline. Then that really sucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that really sucks. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, so like if she if she's being she forced to do that, happy at all. Every yeah, cut away it, it, to her, she's exactly. This shit. Exactly. So like, yeah. do you think that baby in that situation is technically born free? 
No, because it's like, already oh. being born, like not wanted. Like it's it's being born as like forced onto someone. Yeah, and that's like I, I don't know that. <sighs> I mean, no, you're making very valid points, honestly, and you're you're right. Like how it's it depends on like your definition of freedom, essentially, right? And I'm gonna have to agree with you. Like I don't think it is free. Like if if it's not wanted, right, and it's it's conceived and just like born for just an objective like to to fulfill something and then that's it like that's really well depressing first of all but well, you gotta think historia went through that yeah. like her childhood was literally she was born that's, like, she that's was unwanted was. and yeah. she was like hidden away yeah so the fact that she's having to repeat that you know ah uh, mm. No like one. she's she's shackled and like I I don't blame Aaron for being like fuck the world but like at the same time what are you letting Historia do, bruh? Mm, that's true. Didn't didn't he ask her? Like did it don't, ask her do, what? No, doesn't he like Doesn't he tell her what he was going to do? I'm pretty sure, yeah. I would, I would assume <clears throat> so, yeah. It was everything from the moment that they like shook hands, I guess, or whatever. Like at the end of the season three, when he saw everything, remember? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sure everything after that was like, this is what needs to happen <laughs> because I saw it happen, right? Well, they've clearly like talked about shit. Yeah. Right? Because I'm pretty sure she like mentions, like, I know they killed your mom. Right? So it's like, he he told her about that yeah no yeah. i'm really surprised that we didn't get more context about historia throughout like the two parts of season four we really did not get anything honestly right we got a couple shots of her and well I, I feel like they sidelined her bro they really did. they really did yeah with this whole pregnancy thing but like I, at the same time like i get the political statement that he might be going for mm -hmm. like in the subtext of that situation and everything. Yeah. And that's cool and complex and interesting, but like her character itself in the grand scheme of things, I feel like is really being pushed off to pushed the off side. To the side. Yeah, I agree. Okay, go go sit on the bench. We'll bring you back up when we need to. Yeah. That is honestly a shame. Because I, I liked Historia whenever she was very active and, you know, part of the scouts and everything. I thought she was an interesting character. She mm -hmm. had her own motivations for stuff. She had, you know, a backstory and being of royal blood and all that just made it even more interesting. I don't know. I'm interested to see, though. Mm -hmm. well, Might have to go back and rewatch and, like, pay close attention to closer attention to their relationship because I really feel like she had a massive influence on who he is. Despite, like, not even, not even the whole, like, touch thing. I'm not even talking about that. Just like them. I just, I just mean in general, like them interacting, him like seeing who she really is as a person, and like her ideals. Right. I feel like he took a lot from that. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that too. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so would Zoro have? Three bankai, or would? No, I don't. I don't. I think he would. You think he he would have three zanpakuto? Yes. yes. I feel I feel like the Wado Ichimoji, the white one, would be his his unreleased form. Mm -hmm. And then he'd use his shikai, and he'd like turn into three, and he'd have his three sword style. No. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. And the Kai would be Ashura. Oh. Oh, fuck. Fuck. All right. I like that. Okay, wait. Before we go into that, <laughs> let's start this off the right way, right? If Zoro, you know, as as Zoro does, gets lost and gets isekai into the fucking Bleach universe, right? Uh -huh. How long does it take him to learn Bankai? A day. Right? Yeah. That's what I said, bro. I was like, oh, he's got it in a day. As soon as he meets a Soul Reaper that can... As soon as he learns that him. swords function like that in that universe, mm -hmm. it's game over. And he he like connects with his sword. 
Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah. It's game over. Now, <clears throat> I'm of the idea, obviously, that like I think he would have three separate Bankais. But that doesn't mean that I would think he could achieve all three Bankai in a day. I think he would learn the first one, the Wadoichi, the Wadoichi Moji. Moji, right, mm -hmm. in the first day. Because that's his oldest sword that he has now, mm -hmm. one he's most attached to, mm -hmm. right, since, like, childhood, essentially, right? Okay, yeah. hold on, yeah. hold on. Let's make this possible real quick, though. Okay. Okay. Let's say his Shikai is a special Shikai. Mm -hmm. And it's, 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 like, it's got multiple releases right it's like like got like three names so it's like roar rip tear okay oh and then okay. the three names right oh, yeah. so like it's the, like the three the boy who has two different shikai right the um well no he calls them it's a it's the naming scheme right it's like mm -hmm. lavender his sword hates the color lavender uh -huh. right mm -hmm. so he calls it by a name similar to what its name is but it also is similar to lavender mm -hmm. like they have the same meaning and so it, it partially oh. opens oh. but when he calls it by its true name it opens all the way and he does that because you know that's it's like true shikai form I guess. so like yeah. like okay because like the wadoichi monji means like flowing river i don't I have no idea something like that there's, there's something I, thought, like I thought it was something about pure and white <laughs> Was it? Because the sword is white, bro. Can you look that up for me real quick? Sure. But you could, you for that one, you would have to do like, you know, or like, yeah, like tear or like flow, Wadaichi Monji. And then. And then I feel like, okay, since he, it's a special one, he's like, each one has its own Ooh. unique bankai. It means straight line through the path of harmony or harmony path B line. So just like a straight line, essentially. To harmony. Oh, oh, I almost fucking spoiled something for you, damn. F hurry up. Finish it. Finish what? Bleach. Oh, I, I thought he was about to say One Piece. I was like, no, 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 no. I was straight up was about to just be like, oh, that's like, and then I was like, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Good man. Yeah. But, Woo. Ooh, okay, now back to what you were just saying. Or saying. <laughs> yeah, I, f I feel like, okay, so, so you do that. There's three, mm -hmm. right? So with the wado ichimonji right yeah. you said it's it's what straight beeline a beeline down. to harmony. harmony yeah so so what if it was like one of those swords where it's like ah uh, kind of kind of like a visual manipulation yeah yeah, you yeah, know, yeah, yeah. Or it's like everything becomes peaceful oh uh, okay until they get cut uh, you know zoro with his like super quick slashes mm -hmm. Like, okay, so, like, everything's, like, rough and loud, but then, like, when he goes to, like, unsheath it, because especially with, like, he usually uses the, it for, like, she, she, sun, sun, right? So, like, goes to, like, unsheath it, and it's, like, goes from, like, a, like a chaotic battlefield that just goes very peaceful. Like, the, like, the pressure in the air just kind of drops. It's very calm. And then the next thing you know, he's behind you and you just got fucking chi chi sun sun. Ooh, okay. Yeah, so more like a quiet. stealth related type thing. I mean, every time we, I'm pretty sure like pre time skip, he was always chi chi sun sunning with the, the Wadoichi Wado Munji. Wado yeah, Munji. yeah, yeah. Whenever he's one sword style, he always uses uh, Wadoichi Munji. Oh, it's at the uh, Lions Slash or something like that. Uh, it's Lions Dance. Lions Dance. There you go. Yeah. Well then. Okay. Then, then what the about the second one would be the Sunday Kitetsu, right? Yeah. So that would maybe take him a few more days, but not as long either, because he's also had that for a while, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So okay. But but that one that one's Bankai would have to be like the Ashura. The Ashura. Because like, come that's on, come that, on. That's where that comes from. Yeah. Yeah. I I could totally see that. Maybe it's just like <clears throat> amplified because it's in the world of Bleach or something. I don't know. Um. But I could totally, I could totally see that being its bankai form. The release would be like, do you think it would change shape, or do you think it would stay the same? If like, if we go based off, no, because it's a that's well, different. that's like a destructive like sword. Like it's you know the three different kitetsu souls or whatever that are sealed into it. So I mean, it's meant to be. Was that you? No, that was you. Oh shit, my bad. Okay. Um, it's meant to be destructive. 
So, like, I don't think it would change. Is it? I mean, Ashura is a god of destruction. But... Uh, does that come from the Kitetsu Blade? I mean, that's, that's what we were saying. I would think so. If that's what... Because, uh... Hmm. Uh. I don't want to say a lot about that, actually. <laughs> okay, well, we'll just say it, it does, and that's the Bankai. Sure. And then the, probably the one that would take the longest would be Enma, since it's the newest sword he has. Yeah. What, what would it do? Throw, throw like, throw slashes? Throw <laughs> slashes. Um, I think maybe you could argue that it could be maybe some, like, dragon-related type stuff. I mean, this is also just pure speculation, right? We don't, we don't know anything. So... Just if you're creating something for Zoro to have, right? I think it'd be cool to have him have some kind of like dragon based, like Bankai form with that sword. Considering it's a sword from the land of Wano, dragons seem to be very, you know, relevant there. You know, you know how the the abilities are super complex? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like, I feel like we could do more. Like, what if. What if Enma like did drain his his energy, but it was like spiritual pressure, right? Mm -hmm. And he could store that spiritual pressure in Enma, and whenever he releases the Bankai, he releases that spiritual pressure, and like Ooh. you know, can okay. instead of a gets a good ten show, it's a you know pound a hole, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I, I yeah, I can get behind that honestly. Yeah, because especially, like, if Enma is the sword that, like, wounded Kaido, right? Then it definitely has, like, the capabilities of essentially slashing through anything or whatever, right? Based on how much, like, in your case, you know, spiritual pressure you'd have condensed into that sword, right? I could see that, yeah. So it's taxing on you because it's really, like, draining you of that. So maybe it's not something you want to spam all the time, but when need be, pull that sucker out, bro. I could see him just training with it, just pouring his spiritual pressure into it and then mm -hmm. putting it back and being like all right let me train while i'm while i'm low yeah yeah i'm fatigued sorry i was looking into like different mythology for enma <laughs> could find anything that was actually relevant oh good well i think it'd be interesting and mm -hmm. I don't know. terrifying i just want to isekai zoro into like any universe <laughs> okay okay here's a question then how quick till he's capped uh captains like level mm, honestly i think it would i don't think it would take him long to be at that captain level but i don't see him wanting to be like a captain you know what i mean i think he has better things to do but unless it was squad uh Squad 11? Well, yeah, yeah, but if, yeah. if he finds Kempachi, though, that's a matchup I want to see. Mm -hmm. Zoro would become Kempachi. Yeah. He is Strong yeah. Soul Reaper. He's the One Piece equivalent to Kempachi. <laughs> yeah. What other swordsman from One Piece would you want to see in? Mihawk. What do you think his release would be? I don't know. That's the thing, because we don't know anywhere near enough about Mihawk yet. Kiamon. Kiamon. Oh, I'd make it cool. I'd make it like he 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 releases a bunkai, and like, you know, he gets like fox, fire fox avatars, mm -hmm. and like flaming. Uh, his Aww, sword is made of flame. Yeah, I mean, that'd be yeah, shit. That'd be. Oh, so like those uh those the main captain guy, right? Or uh, the head captain? Kind of like uh oh uh yeah like like, like a cross like, between yeah, like um, a cross between that and like and Stark. coyote Stark with coyote all the Starks. Coyotes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you just saw that too, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I'm past it. Yeah. Where are you at right now? Um, one's dead, two's dead, three's dead. Oh, they're all dead already? Um, Ichigo's fighting zero. Oh, Kapachi and, um, what's his name? Uh, Byakuya? Yeah, rolled up on. Oh, bet. And then he transformed again. And then I had. Oh, yeah, nice. oh so did you already see, um,. Uh, I always forget his name, but the uh, the captain with the the hat that had the two swords you saw yes, as Bankai. Yes. Wait, no. No. You haven't seen it yet. I thought I've it seen his uh his release, like the the games that he plays with it. Isn't that? I thought that was his Bankai. Nah, that's not a Bankai. It, it wasn't his Bankai. That's not a Bankai. Wait, wait the game. So like, did he say Bankai? I don't remember. No. Does he not? That's not his Bankai. 
Why did I think that was? What the fuck? This guy's strong. It's just he a said, game that his said, swords like to said, play. My sword likes to play these games. It's childish, you see. Why didn't he release his bunk? I feel like the situation calls so, for it. Yeah, you remember you remember the white haired captain? Yeah. I forget his name, but he's like Bunkai isn't something that should be seen by others. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, okay, yeah, no, I get it. But also, like, Aizen and, like... No, but I'm pretty sure, like, I'm, it's either him or the Kempachi before before our Kempachi. Because it's, like, a name thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like, Kempachi is an inherited name that you can get by killing off the older Kempachi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um... It's either his or that Kempachi's bonkai is like they're forbidden. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. Because it. Okay. So everyone. Yeah, everyone. Well, I thought it was really cool. I love that it was like a the shadow thing. Mm -hmm, the shadow thing, and then like coming down. Um, there was another one. The colors. Oh, the, oh, colors. the colors. Yeah, that was so cool. Yeah. That was a good way to, to finish and I love that he had like you know the cloak underneath, mm -hmm. so he like took that off and he was like or black, black. or black or something, yeah. And then he goes straight for his uh his like circle. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's clutch. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, because like we all said that like Zoro would immediately like see Bonkai and like sword releases and he'd rip it off real quick. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a hundred percent fact after seeing him fucking steel Kiamon's. yeah bro that was amazing uh, it was he so cut prometheus and he cut yeah. prometheus in half i was losing my shit last night but luffy let his guard down zor or law had to had to save his ass swap him out of there i really like that they included that in the both manga and anime that you know zora had to tell luffy like hey like you cannot you let know, your waver right down. now you cannot let your guard down because this is like two Yonkos. Two Yonkos. You really cannot do Zoro less than hundred percent. And I think like he understood that by bringing out you know fourth gear by the end of that episode. Huh. You know what I mean? Like he's not playing around. Like especially after seeing him dodge that uh, that Thunder Bagua. Mm -hmm. Like a amazing. I love that. Like you know he has that future sight and incorporates it, but he still got hit though. Mm, just yeah, barely, he still got hit. You know what I mean? So it was so well done. I was like very confused. Like what? going oh my god like it, it really just... shows you the levels that they're both at you know like mm -hmm. yes Luffy has improved tremendously but kaido is not someone to be taken lightly yeah, this is kaido we're talking about yeah so this like this really defines like battle between yonkos we haven't ever really had that before it's the most we've had up until wano was battle between you know like Luffy and first commander level foes, because yeah. even in Whole Cake, he was running away from Big Mom. A gear fourth punch did not do shit to, to Big her. Mom. Yeah, that's true. Like she casually just stopped it. And she was like, is that really the best you got? And you really think you're going to fight Kaido like this? No. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Puts it in perspective, like very clearly. Hmm. I liked that, uh, little moment when, uh, Kaido asked, like, you think, you're the same as them. And it's, you know, you see Rocks, Roger, Whitebeard, and then um, um, Odin. And mm -hmm. like that whole like silhouette and with them. Was there too. Oh, Shanks was there. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Uh, like that's kind of cool that like a young co's like low key like acknowledging like you're supposed to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, like he was like, how high were you? will your ceiling go? You know? Mm -hmm. He's a, You can tell he's impressed. Like, what changed between the last time I saw you? Like, I one-shotted you. Yeah, yeah. yeah you didn't even curious. peak my interest exactly. then. Exactly. He's peaking his interest now. It's just the beginning of that, too. He's got his attention. Yeah. Um, you know what I love? Them not dodging. <laughs> 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 that. But, so you know, you get Luffy, and you know, you, gear four. And then, you know, even like kid, you know. Fuck, what did kid say? I forgot what his, like, crazy-ass fucking... Punk move. rotten. Punk. Uh, he said punk rotten? I think so, yeah. Punk oh, rotten. Cool. You know, I was like, cool. Room. 
<laughs> that's it. That's all we get from Law. Granted, we didn't get shit from Zoro and Killer, but they were having their fucking own moment against Kaido. Mm-hmm. Holy fucking shit, that was still crazy. I love their little, like, I love uh, Zoro and banter. Killer's their little banter. Yeah. Like, ah, they're just the best friends. And he laughs, and he's like, oh, okay, that was probably like a genuine laugh, but then, like, they, like, have their little quarrel about like you know if I had these you know you, you would have died. Dead. Like so, I don't think so. I don't think so. <laughs> He's like not many people have that kind of laugh. <laughs> <laughs> like you really got to call him out for that. He's self conscious. Give him a break. <laughs> <laughs> but like they didn't. Man, they know what's up and they didn't hesitate. They went full blown like going for Kaido's throat. Yeah, I find it really funny that they're like you know essentially their first commanders are like taking this more seriously than the actual actual captains. captains yes. You know what I mean. And then Zoro even said that he has to pull out more Venma. Yeah, he was he was like, I'm gonna have to use more of its power. I think I I don't know if it'll get shown in the next episode, but if not in the next one, definitely the one after that. Oh, that's all I say. Just oh my god. All kid has done is stand there and then laugh and then make his make his thing. Yeah, he's really good at that. And... He does that almost every time he gets shown. <laughs> he stands there, laughs, and then just like pulls in a bunch of metal. <laughs> it's like a signature thing. <laughs> Really is at this point, huh? Yeah. Now wait, can we talk about? Yes, we can shit all over Sanji. I'm so I'm honestly really annoyed by it, like low key because that's not. I don't know why. Why? Like just wait. That was very clearly like in the manga shown in chapter a thousand and three. It makes me look really dumb when like last week I'm saying, oh, it's not gonna cut away, blah blah blah, and then it cuts away. I know. Well, like I mean, you, know you, you I mean? got me hyped, and I won't lie, but I mean. Well, everybody on the internet was calling it roof piece because that's what we were expecting. Mm -hmm. So it's a little disappointing, but I mean, I watched the preview for next week and um, it doesn't look like they'll cut away this time, but I don't know. You know, it's Toei. They kind of do what they want. They they definitely extend those flashbacks too. Hey, maybe it was like a move so that they're like, all right, let's get this out of the way. Yeah. So So that went now they're going to go. Full tilt. You know, they got their little banter out of the way. So, like, now it's going to be like, oh, yeah. That's yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm hoping for, too. But, yeah, no, when I saw that, I was like, what is he doing here? Like, Didn't you say that these next couple episodes are going to be directed by, like... The next one, for sure. Um, The next episode is going to be directed by... Uh, I don't remember his first name, but uh, Shida is mm-hmm. one of the... Did a couple of those badass episodes for Dragon Ball Super, right? Yeah. yeah you were saying like one of those really clean animated you ones. You want to watch that with us, you can watch on Discord. But yeah, I mean, they really do a big clown on Sanji. Yeah. Like, they really have to shit on Sanji for no reason. Because, like, if they would have added that, honestly, like, where it was supposed to, I feel like we, we probably wouldn't have complained as much because, I don't know, just, like, the way they were writing it, it was kind of, like, it starts off with Luffy's Red Rock, right? Like, super high octane. It goes up, 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 up. And then, like, some cool shit happens. And then it starts, like, slowing down because, you know shit happens or whatever and then they kind of insert that little sanji part and well, i'm like okay well, they like, gave you like a badass zora moment yeah and then immediately after sanji that is <laughs> so, somebody in that animation in that animation studio is definitely showing their favoritism yeah honestly i mean i mean, I mean we got we got we got some black maria though i mean i like i, I liked the scenes before you know she sprouted eight legs and a whole ass fucking spider ass but <laughs> mm. I don't like her character anymore, actually. Just because of the spider yeah. thing. What if it was a scorpion? No, no it's not. Gross. I mean, no. She's gross. Bugs are gross, bro. I thought you liked Black Maria. Hmm. Didn't you like her? I mean, I was hoping she had horns because she had a devil fruit or something. She does have a devil fruit. Yeah, but yeah. not because yeah. of the spider devil, devil fruit. fruit. Hey, man, I'm sticking to my favorite woman in Wano right now, okay? The other horn goddess of yours? Oh, my God. That's the only horn goddess I have right now, buddy. (laughs) Is yours still ulti, Gary? Yeah. Yeah. You know who I'm talking about, right? Just making sure. Yeah, he knows. He looked at me like I was an idiot. (laughs) Well, I'm excited for the next episode. Though. Everybody knows that you like men. <laughs> Yamato, Yamato's a man, bro. My bad, okay? Let the yeah. man that man has some beautiful breasts. <laughs> and some very attractive horns. 
And, and on, on that bullshit ass note, go <laughs> check out the video every Thursday. <laughs> Watch us and listen to us on Wednesdays. Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Spotify. The video comes out on YouTube every Thursday. Um, join us on Discord. If you guys would like to watch Anime Night on Saturdays, uh, we'll be all watching, you know, One Piece, Spy Family, Shield Hero, etc. Make sure you guys check uh, check us out on uh, TikTok at Anime Alchemist Podcast. Check out my TikTok, Envy Joro. Gurish Mataro. Go watch Black Clover. <laughs> Go watch the Black Clover. Yeah. Alchemist out. out.